Um, can you please tell us your name? Uh, my name is Mark Osman. I'm class of 1996. And what did you bring to the harvest today? I brought uh, seven print photographs that I took during my tenure here at the university. I also brought a hat that my father made up when I was freshman uh, because I was really big into radio and loved music and whatnot. So I showed up on campus with a WQSU hat for my first day of orientation. And, um, and I also brought an official WQSU hat from, I believe it was 1995, and then three t-shirts from the radio station as well, from the 25th anniversary in 1994, mm -hmm. and then the following year, 95, and then the first year that they were the Pulse, yeah. which was after I graduated. Okay. Can you like put the hat in front of the camera oh, sure. for us? This will be, this will be the hat, okay. and um, Chris Markle is a big fan of it. He enjoyed seeing it when I showed up with it. <laughs> and that's what I brought. And it's uh, the radio station and uh, trains were pretty much my two things that I took away from campus. I've always liked trains growing up and, and it, it sort of helped me factor into my decision to come here. But only a tenth of a percent. <laughs> because. The campus is just so well laid out and, and very peaceful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and like, why did you decide to bring those specific items? Well, as I just mentioned, those were the two things that, that I thought really defined my four years here as a student. Mm -hmm. um, and just how did you hear about the History Harvest? Through the email that uh, I got as being an, alum uh, an alumni. So far. <laughs> um, so, were you involved in like any activities or like fraternities or clubs? Uh, uh, Alpha Epsilon Rho, I think. God, it's been 20 years, so I think that's the the honors broadcasting society that I was in. We tried getting it going again, uh, but then. You know, as senior students and whatnot, uh, myself and the vice president just kind of had to let it go. Uh, there, there wasn't a whole lot of interest. He and I didn't have the time to really dedicate to keeping it going and whatnot. Uh, but and as far as any other fraternities, no. It was just the radio station. Um, so are there any, like, stories you'd like to share from your time here? My senior year. We, myself, my roommate, and the, our friends of ours that were diagonally across the hall from us in Reed Hall uh, got ourselves in trouble in the middle of winter because we were having uh, super soaker water pistol fights in the hallway <laughs> and uh, especially um, disrupted an open house. <laughs> to the point where one of the, one of the prospective parents says, Who's behind are we saving by, di by interrupting here? So I was like, that's mine. <laughs> so we were, uh, we were ordered to mop up, you know, sop up all the water that we'd put on the floor. Yeah. And we were disciplined by having to do on-campus community service. And it was, you guys can, you're tasked with being creative enough to think of what you're going to do. So we had a midwinter water gun fight on the field hockey field next to Smith Hall on um, probably one of the coldest days of that season. And we had four others show up that weren't us. And it lasted probably about a half an hour. <laughs> but it's sort of, you know, it was, you know, discipline enough for it that, that we were, our record was wiped clean and we carried on being students. So that one sticks out in my mind. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. But, um... Pretty much as far as that, it was just, you know, look forward to breaking away, going to the mall, because that's pretty much all that was here back in, in the early to mid-90s. Yeah. You know, it's certainly developed a lot since then. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, they didn't have any of the sassafras stuff. That was all intramural fields oh. back in the day. And Schobert's, nice. Roberts, and... March. No, it wasn't March. The townhouses? Yeah. Roberts, Isaac, O'Connor, Isaac. and Ross. Isaac, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Schobert and March are the really big dorms. Okay, yeah, it was, it was, it was, now. it was Schobert, Roberts, and Isaac were the first three, and they were opened my senior year. Mm. Yeah. 
and yeah, and uh, West Village hadn't been built yet. Tracks hadn't been built yet. That was still a furniture. Uh, that was a furniture construction place, or it was a uh, mobile home constructing place. Mm. Yeah, that's what it was before. Was tracks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there used to be a great big long warehouse there along the other side of the railroad track on Sassafras, okay. and that all came out. Wow. Yeah, that was a big shock for my ten year anniversary, because all of that was still there when I graduated. Yeah. So yeah, my my ten year anniversary, my ten year reunion coming back here, there were there were a couple of big shocks. You know, I knew about the third floor going on Smith, and um, I knew about the the Heinlein, Heinlein Reservation, but as far as all of the, I mean, and of course the field house over the original track and whatnot, but as far as anything on the Sassafras side beyond the first three buildings was all brand new to me. Yeah. So what did you study while you were here? I studied broadcasting. Uh, I started in communications, and then uh, my student advisor said, you know, you can actually narrow this down into broadcasting if you wanted, and I was like, yeah. And, uh, and I said, I really want to minor in something as well, because I feel like I, I can do more while I'm here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd had a couple of writing courses in my sophomore year, and I was really enjoying them. Mm -hmm. So she said, well, you can minor in writing. It doesn't have to, you know, be uh, in relation to your major. And I was like, yeah, let me write minor in writing. And, and I really took to it and really enjoyed it. So that's, um, those were my studies while I was here. Hmm. And I did the entire writing uh, minor in three semesters. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I was four credits shy going into my senior year. So I really had to pack it on. Uh, yeah. Have you seen, like, the writer's house? Was yes. Was it there when you were there? No. No, that was uh, an addition after I graduated, but I did see it five years ago okay. when I was back. Okay. Yeah, I should see the inside of it. I know a bunch of creative writing majors. <laughs> okay. It's very nice. That's it's very nice, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you think of 18th Street? Haven't been. It's pretty nice. Okay. Yeah. Was that there when you were a student, or was that, or was that also like... Uh, refresh my memory. 18th Street? Yeah. Um, 18th Street Commons is... First of all, where is it? Is it downtown? No, it's... Okay. It's, it's, on, it's on campus. On campus. It's on campus. Yeah, okay. it's like... The best way I can describe it is it's behind the... It's behind Geisinger Medical Center. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and it's right next to public safety. Yeah. Okay. It, Gosh, it public so safety like, used you know. to be... Well, public safety used to be in the, the campus center. Oh, okay. Oh. In a, hmm. Yeah, in a tiny little back office next to the SAC. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, 18th Street's relatively new. I think okay. just for a couple of years it was just like townhouse. You're the first time hearing of it. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? 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 Oh. Really. Oh. Yep. Yeah, you can go over and visit that. It's very nice. Of course. Yeah. It's like the hot spot for all the seniors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They want to live there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Very neat. Yeah. So, do you have any other stories that you want to share? Well, in, in regards to my, um, my liking trains and whatnot, um, mm -hmm. it was still Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday back then when it would come by campus. Okay. And uh, at night, I would hike down because I didn't have a car on campus any of those years. I would hike downtown and uh, and try and use the most light that I could because I was in class when they came by during daylight. Yeah. <laughs> so when they were coming back in the middle of the night, I would be downtown oh. by the by the laundromat mm -hmm. and on and whatnot and try to catch it. But then on Sundays, my junior and senior year, uh, the schedule shifted just for Sundays, and I could get it typically both ways during the day. Okay. So I. Would, walk downtown and I would bring my homework downtown with me and uh, we had a couple of particularly bad winters in, uh, in those years, my, my sophomore, junior and senior years. So every time I went downtown, when I came back from spring break, there'd be all big snow banks and I would just jam my book bag into a snow bank and make a nice little seat <laughs> and then I would sit in the snow bank, do my homework for Monday and wait an hour and a half sitting in the snowbank waiting for the train to come back by so I could oh. photograph it. Yeah. That's dedication. Nice. Yeah. yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they didn't have anything else on campus to do, really. I mean, yeah. the radio station was staffed. It, it didn't make sense to just hang out. So, yeah, it was a way to still enjoy my hobby while I was away from yeah. home. <laughs>